All right, so there are four main views um, throughout the book of Revelation. I'm going to overview them for you. You might land on one. You might land on none. You might be like, just tell me what you think. We'll do all the following because we can guess. We can be heard. We can do everything. So there's, there's four main views, and I'm, we're going to come back to this slide, but four main views. Let me articulate and share a definition of each, then we'll come back to this slide. So the very first one is a historistic view. Revelation is described, for those of you this way, Revelation is described as key events throughout history stretching from the death and the resurrection of Jesus all the way until his return of the day of judgment. Revelation has been seen as a timeless, in other words, this happened, this happened, this happened. In other words, a chronological plan throughout the the history times um, by which we interpret signs and Signs of the times. In other words, world events of each day and age are described in Revelation. So it's from start to finish a timeline. That's this view. Next view is the Presterick view. Revelation is only about the events in the when? Past. It's only the events in the past. Everything we read about took place around the time of the letter's writing. In other words, when Jesus came, gave the prophecy to John, it only happened during that period of time. Um, and the letters were written uh, first and foremost to the original readers, um, uh, and any meaning comes from the circumstances of their interpretation. Another view. All right, the futuristic view, which is mo- which most Americans uh, land on. Is it right or wrong? To be determined. All right. The events described in Revelation were predicted to take place in a far off future, at least a far off future to those who first read it. The focus is only on the events still to come, including false teaching as the tribulation and the millennial kingdom. So basically, it's coming. So seal one has not even been broken yet. Um, It's still to come. And then symbolic or the idealistic view is Revelation isn't about specific times. It's a pattern of events, cycles, if you want to say, of trends that will be repeated throughout history as an encouragement to God's people who face persecution. It is a timeless message. So let me just throw up that graphic real quick. It's simply this. Presterous view, basically, it only happened here. Revelation only happened there. So the historical view basically means it's been timeline through throughout. So seal one, seal two, seal three, seal four, seal five, and, and so on. The futuristic view means it has only happened here. And then the symbolic view, again, this picture was in 2018. Symbolic view is cycle, 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 cycles. It's been happening, and then it's going to come into a big blow up here that we'll kind of talk about in a second. So here's the deal. What do you believe? I don't really care. I really don't. Because your view could be open-handed. It's what you do with the view. So this is a close-handed. This is what we all need to understand about Revelation. No matter what your view or my viewpoint is, Revelation is a book of what? Pause. Pause. I have used Revelation to my advantage sinfully back in the day. When I was a youth pastor, I told you before, I would try to scare, scare the hell out of these kids. I really, really would. Don't do that, Eric. It's not the right type of thing. Because the book of Revelation, and you see all of this. You see all the dramatic pictures, and I, I use some for, like, the, the, the writing of the four horsemen. These dramatic views of all hell is breaking loose and everything like this. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not what Revelation is for. The seven churches... Um, Revelation chapter 1 through 3 is to encourage them, to rebuke them, and to prepare them for his coming and lead them into repentance to point to Jesus. The bottom line is this. Revelation is probably meant to what? Encourage. encourage. I don't know about you, but Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 says, blessed are. It's not like you're scared to death if you read this. You're blessed. So it's to encourage you not to scare Christ followers and to help Christ followers to stay faithful. To stay what? Faithful, that is the word that you need to understand about Revelation. Faithful in the continual worship of the one true, what's the next word? Sovereign God, um, lending them to repentance and preparation because Christ is coming soon.